Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Narrowboat Vlog. Um, as you can see, we've got something missing. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, get the engine bay degreased and good for paint, get it all cleaned, get some fur tan on it. But before we get to that, I'll show you how we've got to this point with no engine. So where we are, this is the engine coming up the boat and the RCR have done a great job so far of removing the engine and the engineer has been fantastic, everything's been great. We have actually got some GoPro footage as well, um, just having a slight technical issue at the moment. Um, I, I would like to uh, to show you a time lapse of the engine coming out, the same as I did with the uh, pram cover, but unfortunately, um, due to technical issues, I can't access either of those videos. Uh, but anywho, you can see the engine coming out. So we uh, bought this bilge cleaner from uh, Midland Chandlers. Um, it says on the instructions that you're supposed to have the engine running to agitate it which we can't do because we don't have an engine obviously so it's gonna to have to be good old elbow grease i'm gonna get this in now get it all scrubbed leave it for an hour as it says and then i'm gonna get it all out get it dry and then i'm gonna fur tan it because some of the bits where the paint have gone have gone a bit rusty so we'll get it all fur tanned rinse it ready tomorrow and then we should be good to start paint uh, the following day let's see how we go on managed to uh, empty the engine bay now which is good uh, the only downside is the previous owner had left metal buckets and stuff under it uh, if you leave metal on metal um, it normally causes rust so there is a fair bit of rust here but thankfully 10 mil of rust is one mil of steel or so they say so although it looks scary and kind of makes me feel a bit sick um, there shouldn't actually be that much rust uh, i'll show you So I've managed to get the uh, the bilges scrubbed, which is good. Uh, Kelly's gone to get a scraper to get rid of some of this rust. Um, when she comes back, I'll uh, I'll just give it a bit more of a brush, get it as clean as I possibly can, let it soak for an hour, as it says. Uh, but this rust is uh, there's lots of it. There really is, look. That's a piece from off the bottom. It's not actually too thick, so it shouldn't be too bad, but still, I don't like it. This looks worse than it is. Uh, the blacks, because the rust has been treated. Uh, now all we need to do is get it dry and get it ready for paint. There we go, the engine has now been degreased, dried, and is good for paint. And as you can see, the uh, shiny new mounts are uh, in place, ready for the engine when the engine comes. Hey all, so this is now day three of uh, the bilges. Uh, everything's prepped now, so it's time to paint. I'll let you see the first roll on. All in all, a nice sunny day here, as you can see. I've got my little friend Gina behind me. You saying hello? Nope. Anywho, um, painted the boat last night. Um, eight hours dry in between coats. So let's get the covers off and have a look at how it's looking. So it's pretty much done. Uh, that looks like it needs a little bit more, so I'll do that now. That's the connectors, I've not missed anything. Got a paint where I'm standing. 
Uh, but other than that, looks pretty good. So quite happy with that. Now for soundproofing. Sorry about the wind noise, quite a windy day. This is the old soundproofing. Gonna uh, trample it off, wasn't that effective before. And then we can, um, we can get the new stuff on. So there we have it, that's the um, engine out, soundproofing done, and uh, that's pretty much it for this week. Next week we've got the engine going back in, a little bit of electrical work to be done, and that's pretty much it I think. Um, well, tune in next Wednesday at 4 to find out. As always, thanks for watching, uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.